Lincoln's first dollar. As in all farming communities, where the only movement of currency is when the crop comes in and the debts accumulating during the growth are settled and the slight surplus spent, the Indiana pioneers little new extra cash. To obtain it, the men used their off hours in guiding and tending settlers, assisting surveyors and prospectors, felling and hewing trees, and horse trading. Another source of income out of bounds was to send a stock of produce down the river to sell or barter for the southern plantation produce. As there was talk at home of furnishing their house, Abraham bethought him of this resource. His father consented readily to any notion that might result in gain, and his mother, though believing nearly 2,000 miles of water travel onerous, allowed her yes. Besides, the young man, by excessive work on their place, had piled up a goodly stock of saleable stuff. Abraham had only to make a boat. It was small, merely to hold the venture and his hand bundle of plunder for the trip and land cruise at New Orleans. Western country boys who had seen the Crescent City talked of the exploit as the Easterners of seeing Europe. Abe was maneuvering his boat on the Ohio River, at Rockport, when he heard the whistle announcing the approach of a steamboat. These craft were not enabled to make a landing anywhere, even with a run-out gangplank but took passengers and parcels aboard by lighters. Lincoln's small boat seemed admirably placed to serve as a transport to a couple of gentlemen who came down to the shore to ship on the steamboat. Their trunks were taken out of their carriages, and they selected Lincoln's new boat among some others. In his homespun, the gawky youth looked what he was not the owner of the craft and about to try a speculation on the river, but one of the scrubs. The scrubs, not from any relation with washing quite otherwise were those poor families on the outskirts of towns who lived in the scrub or dwarfed vines. Accordingly one of them asked, indicating the flatboat. Who owns this? The hero relates the story thus. I answered, somewhat modestly, I do. Will you take us and our trunks out to the steamboat? Certainly, glad of the chance of earning something. I suppose that each of them would give two or three bits practically the dime of nowadays. Lincoln carried the passengers aboard the vessel and handed up their trunks. Each of the gentlemen drew out a piece of silver and threw it on the little deck. Gentlemen, you may think it was a very little thing, and in these days it seems to me a trifle, but it was a most important incident in my life. I could scarcely believe my eyes as I picked up the two silver half dollars. I could scarcely credit that I, a poor boy, had earned a dollar in less than a day that by honest work, I had earned a dollar. Lincoln's flatboatman wage was ten dollars a month, 